Here's your interlocking indoor armored fiber cable. Now this type of cable is very popular in areas where you need some extra strength. The armor underneath this jacket will provide that. As you can tell it is somewhat flexible and this is available in a PVC and plenum rated jacket. Now let's see what's under the jacket. Now this is also, a, here's your rip cord, we're going to you know, pull that back. This is also a great choice for manufacturing plants. And also when you gotta need something a little extra strong to protect against those ro annoying rodents. So here's a good look at the interlocking armor underneath the jacket. As you can tell it's very flexible. Now let's try to cut some of this off. So underneath your armor you have a tight buffered indoor cable. And underneath the indoor tight buffered cable you have your pull string, your yarn. This cable is available up to 24 strands in a single jacket construction. If you need something up to 144 strands, what they'll do is they'll put a circular premise type of cable. We'll get to this a little later, but they'll put that type of cable underneath the interlocking armor. The diameter of it will be quite a bit bigger, but that's basically what you're looking at. Don't forget, with tight buffered cable constructions, you'll have your strands with a 900 size buffer over the individual strands. Another thing to think about with this cable is the interlocking armor will save you some labor and additional cost. How's that? Some guys like to install a conduit and then run fiber through it for indoor applications just to have that extra protection of the conduit for that fiber. So if you run this type of fiber you'll save the cost of the conduit and you'll also save labor by having to kind of do twice the work with laying the conduit down and then run the fiber. You can just lay this down one time, one shot, boom, you're done. At the end of this video, go ahead and check out the annotations for the other parts of fiber optic cable. What is it? Thanks.